is it permissible to say salams to women the question posed by mastan is is it permissible to say salam to women that means can a man say salam to a woman as far as wishing salam is concerned allah says in the quran in surah anam chapter number 6 verse number 54 wa idha jaa qallazina yu'minuna bi ayatina fa qul salamun alaykum whenever you meet those who believe in our sign say salamun alaykum so allah gives the message in the quran that whenever a believer sees any other believer he should say salamun alaykum it further mentioned in the quran in surah an-nisa chapter number 4 verse number 6 wa idha huyitum bi tahiyatin fa hayyu bi ahsana minha aw rudduha inna allah qala kulli shay'in hasiba if anyone greets you courteously you have to wish back more courteously or at least the same and allah is careful in keeping of the accounts by this verse you come to know if anyone wishes you assalamu alaikum you have to wish back more courteously and say wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah if someone says assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah you have to wish back wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh if someone says assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh and you cannot improve on that at least wish back the same wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh if someone says assalamu alaikum and you say wa alaikum assalam the wording are the same but it's coming from the depth of the heart the tone is different even this is better so allah says in the quran that if someone wishes you you have to wish back more courteously or at least the same and a beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it's mentioned in sahih muslim volume number 1 Hadith number one nine four, a prophet said, "No one shall enter paradise until he truly believes, and no one will truly believe until he loves one another. And you can love one another by spreading peace. That means saying salam is very important. Initiating is mustahab. The person who initiates first gets a better reward. And if someone says salam, wishing back walikum assalam." is a fard based on the verse of the quran and the hadith and the prophet also says one of the rights of muslim on the other muslim is to wish back walikum assalam regarding the question can a muslim man wish salam to a non muslim can a muslim man wish salam to a woman as far as wishing is concerned it is mustahab and replying is compulsory as we said This is mainly concerning man to a man and a woman to a woman. As far as opposite sex is concerned, if a mahram is there, then the opposite sex, the ruling is the same. If a Muslim man meets a mahram Muslim woman, it's compulsory, it's preferable to initiate and compulsory to reply back. Similarly, if a Muslim woman meets a mere man it is preferable to initiate and it is compulsory to reply back <clears throat> but as far as wishing the opposite sex who are not mere there is there are some restrictions according to scholars they say that if a man has to wish a nahram if she is a elderly woman then it is permissible but if it is a young woman it may be a fitna and it is makruh when this question was asked to imam malik that can a man wish a nahram woman he replied if it is an elderly woman then he does not feel that it is makruh that means it is permissible but if it's a young woman then you should avoid it you should not do it you should not wish because it will create fitna and according to the son of imam ahmed ibn hanbal when he asked his father the same question imam ahmed ibn hanbal he replied that a man wishing a namer a woman who's elderly it is permissible but if she is young he should not do it 
And the same goes for the opposite. That a woman has to wish a namaram. Man, if she's elderly, it's permissible. If she's younger than the man, then it should be avoided. And according to Imam an nawi he says that as far as greeting opposite sex is concerned, if the opposite sex are maram, it is mustahab to initiate the salam. And it is compulsory to reply. It is the same ruling as between men and men and women and women if it's opposite sex who are mehram. But if they are non mehram then if the woman is elderly, it is permissible and it is not makru. But if she is young, it should be avoided, it should not be done. And if a man, he should not greet a na mehram who is younger in age. And if he does it, she should not reply. Similarly, a woman who is young should not greet a man. And if she greets, the man should not reply. For a younger man to initiate or reply back, for a man to reply back or greet a na and a woman who is younger, it should not be done. And if it's done, it is makru. And if a younger woman greets him, he should not reply. If he replies, it is makro. But as far as the elderly woman is concerned, it is permissible. Because greeting to a young lady woman, there may be fitna and it should be avoided. So as far as the question is concerned, if it's a mere woman, it is preferable. And replying back is compulsory. If it's a non-meram, elderly is permissible. If it's young, younger woman than you, then it should not be done. If you do it, it's makroor. And if some younger lady greets you, greeting back is not mustab. It is makroor. And it should be avoided. Hope this answers the question.